Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Outer Worlds. This is Colonel RPG as usual. Sam, I must confess, I have not been cleaned for far too long. You're sure this will... Oh yes, that's the spot exactly. I, I, I... Why, I didn't expect you to be so thorough. I am ashamed to admit. Oh, Captain. Yes. There you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pardon, but... Perhaps you could afford us some privacy, please? I am afraid I cannot, because we have business to deal with, Parvati. Uh, sorry, uh, Ada. Uh, Sam? Issuing sanitation ticket. Error! Refill printer paper. I... Good work, Sam. Thank you, customer. Warning! Wrapped on claws carry bacteria and have the potential to cause organic death due to... Massive amounts of blood loss. Service cancellation request processing. It's back to work, Sam. Ada. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Do you talk about Gorgon, I wonder? You don't. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. I will do... I, I'm sorry. I, I, it's, I, you are way too willful today. Anyway, let's get out of here. Uh, let's go. So we're in Gorgon right now. No, wait a minute. Where the heck are we? No, we are in Gorgon. We just need to click there and then choose a different place. And the ones who walk away from Gorgon is the active... Now in orbit above Gorgon. We were already there, but this is... The point is... Um, uh, the point is we are in a different landing pad. Even though it shows that we're in orbit, but it's not quite how that... Well, it, we need to land every time. I think that's the implication there. This is a... That is a big area it's wow look at those stars don't it make you feel small in the best way wow what is this was this was it like this in the other area i didn't i didn't notice um felix yeah boss Got a minute? I want to talk to you about this business on Gorgon. There's something kind of sad about Ambrose Manor. See, <laughs> let's not get straight into that. Let's actually try to answer that. No, I can't. I don't think. Uh, so, Mini Ambrose. Mini Ambrose. She's like something out of the pictures. The way she talks, the way she holds that whiskey glass. She's got, you know, presence and charisma. I... <laughs> I'm a fan of the part where she shot you down. <laughs> My god. Uh, I don't know if that's mean to say. I think that is mean to say. I wouldn't say that because it's mean. Why didn't you ever talk a bit about me this way, though? I've got presence. I don't really. And charisma? Not really. Uh, because you're my boss? Besides, I start talking about you the way I talk about Miss Ambrose, and Ada's gonna kill me in my sleep. Hey, by the way, I wanted to ask you about this journal we're hunting down. What do you think is in it? Corporate secrets? Map to some buried treasure, maybe? The last will and testament of Miss Ambrose's late mother? Uh, why not all three? That's what I like about you, boss. You got a real positive attitude. I guess whatever's in those pages, it's for Miss Ambrose to find out. I just hope she gets some closure. That's the objective. What do you think about this Lucky Montoya guy? You ever watch... The Masked Marketeer. Duh. Can't say I have. Episode 5 of The Masked Marketeer. First appearance of a recurring villain. Big old galoot. Built like one of those industrial class garbage compressors. His name? Tiny. I see. But I'm gonna let him continue. Every adventure serial's gotta have a supporting character with an ironical name. It's a rule of the Genry. Mass Marketeer what? had a massive bruiser named Tiny, and we got ourselves a real unfortunate hallhead named Lucky. Coincidence? I think not. Finnick, Felix, what did, did you just say? What do you, what, how did you pronounce it? What? That's not how it's pronounced. Certainly not. Gunry? Not genre. Which is not even how it's, it's pronounced in French, but it comes from French. Gunry. I've never heard anybody say it like that. 
Is that... Do people actually... Is it like a pamphlet kind of situation? Because some, cause it's wrong, but, you know, people say it still, and it's like a widely spread mispronunciation of the word pamphlet. Um, but still, um, can I... I'll make it be kind of cool if we could actually correct him in the, in the dialogues. Um, you seem pretty excited about this job. We're freelancers. We take any job we can get. But this one? The dying message of a stranger. A severed hand delivered in a crate. Let's just say it beats flying around the colony running errands. So, of course, I'm going to be excited. He doesn't beat the last mission in the game, though. Because um, that's where we are the, in the, in the storyline. That's the save I loaded. I've got to hand it to you, Felix. You've got heart. Hey, I get it. Got to hand it to me. Severed hand. <laughs> that's what you were going for, right? That wasn't what you were going for. Yep, I can tell by the way you're glaring at me. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, boss? Uh, never mind. He's got an interesting sense of humor. There is this one interchange between him and uh, Parvati that uh, he, com he comes across like smarter than he... than Parvati thinks he is. Like, he's, he's making himself look the fool, but it's only that one time, so I think it might have been just, you know, mistakenly written as him looking like that. Uh, are those mines? I don't know what that is, but there's a lot of um, ladders coming up here. A lot of ammo as well, as it turns out. I don't remember which which uh, one of my weapons is my favorite. I guess I could open the inventory, but I'm afraid of the inventory system. A bolter pistol? Yeah. Are these new ones, though? They are new ones. They're absolutely new ones. They're level 33. We have new weapons. Sentry Saber Mark III and all that. Yeah, let, uh, we probably have a... Because I can't walk him over encumbered again. Uh, we probably have a place to, to sell things up here, although I hear sprats. What is this? An axe. Some things in here. I don't know if that was an upgrade or not, but we don't have anything to sell. Or anything. We have a lot of things to sell, we just don't have anything to trade in. Uh, we're going to worry about that in a little bit. Well, um, status operational. Insert captain's identification cartridge to initiate remote landing. I can disable the emergency evacuation notice. That might be the sound that we keep hearing in the background. That wee wee. Okay, that's good news. Now let's look at that pistol. Uh, well, actually, all I need to do. Yep. Yeah. We have something at level thirty, but. That means that all of our equipment is um, is liable to get upgraded. Let's uh, let me take care of this. Okay, there's not that much here. Uh, I am still over. No, I'm not over encumbered. There's not that much here that uh, that needs dismantling. But I hopefully will be able to find things to sell. I no, don't see anything in my. Oh, broken ankles. That was indeed a sprat up there. Hi, I'm sorry. Oh, there he is. We found our machines. Point of interest discovered. That's good. Now, that little sprat was laughing at me. It ran away, didn't it? Mm, yeah, we saw it briefly as we fell down. Uh, not a problem. What are we dealing with here? So if... Uh, mm, shouldn't we... Don't we have like a discount thing? For some of them. Doesn't it say? I think I thought it used to say. But maybe for the vending machines. Yes, it does. Like there. Right there. Anti Cleo's auto vent. So let me vent. So let's look at what the upgrades are like. It is almost double the damage. Bolter Pistol 2.0, it's 81. And the 3.0, it's 156. That is brutal. I might have, I have some things over here that I. Oh. Euthanasia kit. I probably shouldn't have sold that. Can I buy things back? I doubt it. Yeah. Well, it's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Because uh, th these are just collectible weapons, and I don't use them anyway. 
Um, but yeah. Um, good things. So Parfati is actually getting the Bolter Pistol 3.0, so that's gonna be great. And uh, hopefully I'll be paying attention to the new equipment that we get. A lot of upgrades and whatnot. Uh, let's also look at the map. Oh my god, what? Oh, this is the shotgun. Of course, I have 12,000 shotgun rounds. I don't use the shotgun all the shotgun all that, mo all that much. English. Today, Colonel. English. So, we need to go over there. Uh, so, what are we going to do? We're going to go around this way. Man, the place looks awesome. Apart from the dead people and whatnot. Um, so, anything below level 20, I'll just... Destroy. I'm not gonna really pay attention to the valley per weight. Uh, but this is not my weapon of choice. Are these supposed to be like fiber optics or something? Because they kind of look like it. And they make a little bit of noise. What is this? Clearly, there's a lot of junk. These in particular... Oh! Oh! It feels like I was like, who's this person? Nope. That's just normal. Yeah, look at all the junk. What's that supposed to be? I think it's like a plane that crashed. Ow! My ankles. Not mines. That much is certain. Ordnance Control Helmet Gold for extra block. That is pretty good. And a Plasma Carbine Ultra. Now, that I don't know if it is good or not. Let's look. So, for our helmet, uh, we're currently out of 21. This one might as I mean, it adds, it's a 24, so it's a little bit better. But in terms of armor, this one is, is better. Advanced defensive things. And we can, of, of course, upgrade those if we need to. Uh, which we probably want. Uh, this is stuff that I can use. Long guns. Plasma Carbine Ultra. I do have a plasma one. I have the plasma rifle over here. Which is different. Yeah. Hmm. This damage per second is a lot better. So I'll go ahead and get that. It's a new weapon. This one has been upgraded, I think. This plasma rifle 2.0. Uh, but let's let's find out how this works, because I have a lot of ammo. And uh, if it's an assault rifle style thing. There's an invisible wall? How dare you, video game? Invisible walls hurt my soul, don't you know? And not just my soul, everybody's soul. Everybody suffers. Kitties meow in 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 uh, in despair at your invisible walls. They don't know that it is because of that, but it is. Haven't you heard a, ever a kitty meowing in despair? That's because of the invisible walls. And this place over here does not have any, and it's weird. Do you see that dead ends are good to have an invisible wall to prevent you from going into a dead end? I'm fine with that. What is that? Yeah, there's there's a few invisible walls around some parts can say can say I know where to find them but they they're there they're there block look at that block him a path how dare you perfecto nothing major some compacted trash oh this is some wally situation did they did they have these before? I think they did, but maybe not quite like this. So there's some sprats down here. No way to get in there. Oh, look at how that door opens. It like rotates, it's, um, maybe. We got an elevator over here. It's all spacer's choice. A flamethrower level two. I think we I had one of those already. So it's not a new item. Plasma carbine ultra. I got supplies if you need them. No one lasts long on Gorgon unprepared. Hello. You don't like Spacer's Choice? I mean, can't... I can't say that that's a slight against you, to be honest. All their stuff sucks. Ooh, Mr... Mr. Power. Shh. I can dig that. No remorse. So who's this person? Is that what my thoughts sound like? Law, I've been standing near that alarm too long. You looking for supply, stranger? A stock up here. If you run low on bullets out in Gorgon's far reaches, there ain't no one around here liable to help you out. 
Let me know if you're looking for something particular. Usually it's the running low on, on durability that is, uh, that is the issue. So this is Gorgon. You mean you came out to this asteroid without knowing nothing about it? <laughs> me too. Heard it was wild here and couldn't resist. Trouble is, if you wander off to somewhere you oughtn't be, like way out in Gorgon's farthest reaches, odds are slimmer of your bits finding their way to my pockets. If you want my advice, stick close to the Sprat Shack. Unless you fancy having your limbs torn off and eaten. That... I do not fancy that at all. I figured not. Look, I ain't stopping you from wandering elsewhere. But if you do, be sure you watch out for the Marauders. That's the number one thing. And the Mance, I guess. You watch out for Marauders, Mance, and Charles from Accounting, and you'll probably be fine. Not Charles from Accounting! Only the meanest marauder on Gorgon, and also anywhere else. That man is crazier than a bag of canids and twice as likely to bite. He will bust your head open like an overripe mock apple if he so much as sees you. I ain't joking. He'll snap you in half like stale bread noodles. There. Thanks for the warning. No, no, you don't get it. Charles from accounting is like... Imagine if you took three of the most howling mad marauders you could find and mashed them together. That's Charles. I... You mean he's got the strength of three men? That and a rocket launcher. R okay, go, go back to the part about where he has a rocket launcher. Did I not mention that? Right, sorry. He's got a rocket launcher. And he's good with it. I don't know. Hard to guess how many he's killed, given the explosions tend to obliterate any bodies. <laughs> I'm joking. No one bothers looking for bodies. I'm starting to wonder if there ain't a person on this rock entirely out of their minds. Look, long story short, you do not fuck with Chuck. Best to avoid the Marauder camp entirely. That's my two bits on the matter. Uh, about Charles from Accounting. Yeah? Where did you say he was again? The Marauder Camp way out to the east. That's what I heard, at least. And I sure hope you're asking so you can keep a safe distance away. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. I take it that evacuation alarm wasn't urgent. Huh? Oh, you don't gotta worry about that. Something to do with that scrap project Gorgon from years back. Thanks for turning it off, by the way. I'd have lost my mind if the damn thing had gone on much longer. I bet you would have. Why didn't somebody just shut it off? We tried. Couldn't persuade the control terminal to listen. No one round here is particularly mechanically inclined, and no one was going to shut it down by force. That's for sure. I know, because even Von Hoffman couldn't bash it in. And I seen that tough son of a gun throw a man clean across the Sprat Shack one time like he were a toss ball. What can you tell me about Project Gorgon? Only that Spacer's Choice shut it down in a big hurry. From what I heard, some of their folks got left behind even. Don't seem like the project ended well. What do you have for sale? Found a pickaxe in the mine like none I've ever seen before. Could be awful useful if you're the violent type. It, it is a weapon. Ooh, I should have sold things in here. Obviously, I didn't, because I am very smart and good. Uh, repair all the things. Yeah, it's perfectly acceptable. Uh, let's be on the lookout for interesting weapons, because sometimes... Especially weapons that have very high levels. They're relatively cheap as, uh, cheap as well. Uh, plasma... No, that's the thing that I have. That one is interesting. That, uh... Oh, it's a heavy weapon. Right. Model spaceship and handy destruction. It is just the pickaxe. Don't worry about it. We're gonna be fine. Uh, well, uh, let's see if I can find somebody else because Parvati was speaking as if we had talked to other people, and uh, honestly, I I haven't seen anybody else. I was a little bit surprised that we did find anybody because I, well, nobody else has been here. Or it has been seen. Uh, we have a rearranged mining helmet, patchwork mining gear. I think those are all bad weapons. Um, 
Okay, let's take some of these. Augmentation is good enough. For some interesting armor. That's for sure. And of course, there's that. Let's look at our armor over here. And see if it is better. I doubt it's level 25. Mm-hmm. Okay, break it down. What about this? Stealth skills. I don't need that. Good. Of course, we could sell that, but we don't need to worry about it for the moment. So that's where we came down from. And uh, that's the general store. Oh, this thing is broken. That's where the sprats are. Nothing important here. Let's get our new weapon out. Where are the spread? Do I need to go up through here? I don't think so. We need to go above and around. Potentially. I don't see anybody. Something made a mess of this place. Watch your back, boss. I will do. Huh. I wonder what these are. We have I don't think we've seen those before. And also I don't know that I can open them at the moment. I also want to see what made a mess of this place. I would like that. Want that as well. Dead person. Automag 20 level 24. Nitver. That's a robot. This is so stupid. Georgie, asshole. What are you doing? Hey, you got those drinks? Don't tell me it's glacial age again. When did you become this picky? The year's beer. Hey, what are we celebrating anyway? One year on assignment. Only 10,000 more to go. No shit. And that makes it one year trapped in this goddamn closet. One year getting chewed out by Olivia Ambrose for doing our jobs. One year drinking stolen beer. And one year as partners uh, in crime. Partners in crime. Hey, you okay? Your face is all red. Let me get you some water. Hold on. Partners, Georgie? Are you out of your mind? Get it together! Oh, Georgie. Okay, well, um... Wait a minute, these are Marauder Berserkers. That's probably important. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. That's from Anticleo. Ah, probably it's fine. Let's kick it. Error. Tilt alarm engaged. Entering emergency reconciliation mode. This unit <laughs> will now engage... Oh, calamity. Protocol. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. You're broken. Have a better than natural day. Yep. This thing is broken. It, it went, it cycled through the thing, weirdly. Uh, so we don't need that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. How do I break? Oh, oh hold F. I keep forgetting that there's a the slow down time button, which is actually pretty cool. Because you can then learn, reinforced to withstand the harshest environments. This construction auto mechanical equipped with jump jets and shock cannons looks very imposing indeed. See? Except the game makes a heck of a racket when you're in that mode, so I can't hear myself think. Hopefully you can hear me talk. I, I think I think I, I, I configure everything properly so you can hear me talk, but still. No sign of anything that is bad. Oh, no, there is sign of anything that is bad. There's a Marauder Colossus over there. Hello. Not sure what's going on there. Uh, buddy, hold on. It's gonna be fine. She's back. 
There we go. Hello. Good job, Felix. Oh, that's the last of him. Yeah, the sniper sucks. It uh, it requires more damage. I have a perk that allows me to do extra damage if I kill somebody in a headshot. And uh, I think, or it's the following headshots that do more damage. That's a ship that crashed. Let's not worry about that right now because I'm still trying to get my my find my bearings. Wait a minute, the shields have different colors? What could that mean? Remodel low pressure helmet. Well, well, I guess that is a person without a head. I think we can tell what that might mean a little bit. We have found the elevator. Well, that's good when I want to inevitably come back down here. Oh, we find these. Yeah, we keep finding... Oh, no, they are all toppled, except for this one. We keep finding these. These are very common in... Um, throughout the game. Not just here, obviously. Oh, we haven't tried the new weapon yet. Let's find. Hmm. It's... It's like the other one, except better, somehow? I think it might have a, bit, a better rate of fire, and that's why the, the DPS is, is better. Uh, Light Machine Gun Mark III. Felix, I have something for you. You have a Light Machine Gun Mark II. How about this? You go from... <laughs> um, 960 DPS to 1408 DPS. Hopefully that'll work out. So, I am playing... Um, I didn't. I didn't. We, I didn't really talk about this earlier. I maybe should have if uh, people were just coming into the let's play to try and figure out um, what you know what, what's going on and all that. Uh, the level, my level right now is very high, as you saw. Hunting rifle hyper. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. So my level is th is level 30. The the folks at uh, Private Division, that's the publisher of the game. Uh, sent me some some uh, save files if I wanted to uh, to play with them instead of oh that's not what I want over here uh, if I wanted to play with them instead of my own save files I uh, I saw I looked I had to look at them uh, and um, yeah this thing is already upgraded but this one has more damage so that's good enough uh, and I look at them and they were at around level 20 and level 22 so I was thinking that maybe uh, I should I shouldn't be as high level as I am, but I think either the game level scales, which is probably that's probably the case, um, or or maybe level twenty two is is uh, is is going to be really tricky for for survival in here. So something to be found out is the fact that these these uh, shields over here don't seem to actually be blocking off. No, they are blocking off paths. Unless we, like, yeah, we can't activate anything. Because they didn't really, like, look at them. Look at that. That's a pointless shield. Why is that there? But also, that one over there is a pointless shield because we went around. Oh, we have a door over here. Mm-hmm. Some upgrades. Some ammo. Riot control... Armor gold. Computer. That doesn't really work. I mean, it, it probably works, it just doesn't do anything for me. Uh, we have a helmet. Is that a helmet? It is for three medical. It's a level 30 medical. Uh, level 30 medical. Level, level 30 helmet. And that's why. Uh, that's why it's so good. 63 armor is brutal. I'll wear it because my current one sucks. So, there we go. Uh, does it... Uh, I think it's in the options screen. The options to... Maybe. Maybe it is in the options screen. To allow your character uh, to show their face. Oh. Mr. Power. And Backpack. Oh, yeah. I have that. Backpack is a nice... Uh, wait a minute. What is the level there? 150. Yeah. That's... That's 150. You cannot have skills above a hundred. 
Uh, I do. This is where you see those points. So I do have skills. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's gonna be fine. Let's find out. So this. How did I not get back there? Did you see? I did a bad job, is what I did. Lab protected monocle. And some ammo. Now, how do I get these brats done? I want them nice and well fried. But that that's gonna... No, it's through here. It's Brat Shack. It's through there. But that's gonna be the, uh, that for this episode. Because for right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been The Outer Worlds. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.